What's up guys, it's Connor here bringing you a little MW3 action and I tried uploading this video twice already and once it didn't work, once I didn't have uh, my voice over it for some reason so now since I don't have that voice saved I have to remake this whole thing blah 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 but anyways I just got back from Myrtle Beach that's where I was and so now I'll be back into the swing of making videos and whatnot I had a great time down there and now I get to go make a nine minute commentary but anyways this is the one you guys wanted a long time back when it was supposed to come out about the Call of Duty community and it's my 41 and 1 team deathmatch Moab on C-Town using the P90 so I hope you guys enjoy and I'm just gonna hop right into what I wanted to talk about if it over if it goes over which I think it will it'll I'll throw on that bootleg Moab really quickly for the people that haven't seen it yet so anyway, now I'm going to hop right into what I was saying. So anyways, when we're playing Call of Duty, we're getting mad all the time, you know what I'm saying? It just happens. About In Modern Warfare 3, you're playing, you're getting mad, you're getting killed by kids in the corners, rocket launchers, Type 95s, FMG akimbos. Dude, what are you thinking? Here's my thing with this. Here's my, I don't know. <laughs> Here's what, what kind of I don't understand about Call of Duty. What I don't understand about people, uh, what I don't understand about the people that play it, and what I don't understand about the people that make it, we have ever since Modern Warfare 2, we have been telling Call of Duty what we want them to put in, telling Infinity Ward, okay. no noob tubes, which they fixed, hallelujah, no commando, which they fixed, hallelujah. But now explain to me why in the world a guy can pull a knife out of nowhere. He doesn't even drop his gun. His knife comes flying out of somewhere to stab you because that's his first instinct when you run around a corner. And a ballistic vest doesn't stop it, which ballistic vest is gay anyways. Um, nothing stops it. Nothing stops that knife except for a wonderful final stand. And um, so... Final stand doesn't stop it, but I mean, you fall in the final stand. So I mean, what, what, what is the logic there? In every other first-person shooter game, Counter-Strike, which is old, Halo, all those games, you have to pull out the knife. You have to actually press a button to pull out the knife to then stab someone. In Battlefield, even it's a, it's more of a, um, ah, what the, I don't know, embarrassment tactic, I guess you could say, where you come up behind and they do the whole, um, the whole animation of you doing all the stabby crap, <laughs> and. I mean, but in Call of Duty, I freaking the stupid analog stick, you're running around, analog stick, knife. Oh, wait, wait, wait a sec, wait. His two hands are holding a gun. His third hand is coming out of his nutsack to stab me. I don't understand that one. I don't get it, but whatever. Whatever they want to do. And so, I mean, that is one thing I don't understand about why they would do that. Three burst guns. Are you kidding me? The M16 is a perfect three burst gun. It may be a little underpowered. But almost the perfect three burst gun. I thought the FAMAS was a great three burst gun. Didn't think it was crazy overpowered and it was good. But I mean, semi automatic guns, they need to stop putting in semi automatic guns. They, the semi automatic guns are just plain ridiculous. And I can't understand why semi automatic guns are in there. Because here's my thing the MK14. Is anybody happy getting killed by the MK14? Because I mean, seriously, on computer, I bet it's way worse but I mean on piece or on console it's either always modded or it's a two bullet kill from any range I've gotten one shot headshotted by it before and I'm like are you serious and I don't I mean I don't understand what their thought is with that and the type 95 let me explain I guarantee anybody can figure this out type 95 fastest fire rate and most damage oh what is this gun gonna be is it gonna be the least powerful gun in the game no what are they thinking why are they doing that what is their thought process here stop making those guns and now here's one thing that's even worse this is one thing I think this is the biggest reason Call of Duty keeps getting worse and worse in Call of Duty 4 there's crap there's some stuff like this but nobody, um, nobody abused it, really. Modern Warfare 2, it wasn't that bad at all. It was a pretty good game. Modern Warfare 3's out. You go try to play Modern Warfare 2 right now, and it might not be as bad anymore. And tell me you're not getting noob tube, commando lunge, and your air support shot down every five seconds. I, it is ridiculous. The people that play Call of Duty now, this is the Call of Duty community. This is everybody in general. This is the people on YouTube that are always, 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 always arguing. Always mad at each other. Always being, oh, I'm better than you. Always being all cocky and stuff. Right. Guys, if I ever get too cocky, if you ever think I'm being cocky in any way, just say, Connor, cocky, shut up. Any, anything like that. 
Tell me, I will cut it out. Do not let me become like a lot of these people. They think they're the greatest people in the world. They're out there. Hey, come play uh, some 9v9 domination with me and all 80 of you guys run support for me because I'm better than you, so why the heck should I? Why, I'm not running support. I'm here. Stay out of the spawn. No, don't kill him. He's my guy. Throw down the ballistic vest. Don't move in the spawn. Don't kill anybody. Let me pick up ballistic vest. Let me use your UAVs and let me kill everybody because I'm better than you. That is the thought process of almost every single player out there. Support kill streaks were such a bad idea. Such a bad idea by Infinity War. I don't know what they were thinking. Terrible idea. And now this is the problem. This is what's making Call of Duty the worst, in my opinion. The players are abusing the stuff they put in the game. Rocket launchers were meant to shoot down air support, not shoot me in the face from three feet away. Come on now, what are you? That's just being abused by the players. Guns like the RSAS, for instance, in this game, which I think is a retarded idea for a sniper. People just sit there, and you run around like a like it's a submachine gun. Same with the MK14 Type 95. People abuse those guns. They don't just use them to level them up and get them gold. They use them so they can be more annoying than the person next to them. They understand. I understand these guns are overpowered. I understand support's annoying. I understand these guns are overpowered. And what's annoying? You will not see me do any of them. I might knife someone, but I will not be panic knifing someone because I have to move my finger all the way up to the B button to do it. You will not see me run around with a launcher and shoot anybody. You will not see me use a Type 95, an MK14, or FMG Akimbos. You won't see me doing any of that. I will never ask a pl any pl anybody in Call of Duty to run support for me because support is overpowered. Ballistic vests, are you serious? Oh, hey, look, this guy's 5 and 13, and now I can't kill half their team because he's got a ballistic vest on because it's being abused. The players know it's annoying. They do it anyways. Now, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I understand people are just, just playing to have fun, which I completely agree with. You should be playing to have fun. We should all be playing to have fun, and that's how it should be. So if your fun is running around with a launcher, then you shouldn't be having that fun. <laughs> uh, if your fun is running around with, say, the Type 95 and shooting people, okay, that's okay. Here's where your fun it crosses a line in my opinion when you are having fun to deliberately annoy everyone else that plays call of duty that is not cool that is kind of being annoying okay that's really being annoying you're that one kid that no one likes anymore you're like that one kid at school that no one likes because you keep coming over and talking it's the same thing the people that do this on this game are probably the same kids that everyone hates at school <laughs> and so it's just super super annoying how people abuse it and this is that's what I think I think you can have fun but you shouldn't be having fun at the expense of knowing everybody else in the game maybe I'm wrong here maybe I'm not I don't know I don't like it that way and that's my thing the cockiness of the YouTube players people abusing stuff in the Call of Duty game those things are just really annoying and then of course Infinity Ward putting all this crap into the game I mean what are they thinking we tell you what we want why don't you do it Freaking Activision is out there only for money. And here's the thing. I don't want my Call of Duty turning into Halo, which is what Black Ops 2 might end up being and Black Ops is doing. Call of Duty is a fast-paced, fast-killing game. It should be a fast kill. Not MK14 fast, not Type 95 fast, not semi-automatic um, snipers that shoot as fast as the MK14. None of those. Those, that's too fast. I'm saying it should be fast killing just like the MP7 in this game is, or basically most of the guns in this game, or Modern Warfare 2 are. Not Black Ops, that's getting too close to Halo with, with how long it's taking to kill. That's not what Call of Duty is made of. Call of Duty is fast paced, not super futuristic. Modern Warfare, not... Nine, or not uh, 2150 warfare modern warfare what we've got out now what we can be used that's why I think they need to stick to stick to the roots stick to what they're about stop putting in the crap that the game should be based solely on skill if you're not good you should be going 1 in 12 every single game if you're not good that is my thoughts on it what are your guys thinking it should take skill to level up you should have to be good before you can start going positive that's my thoughts what do you guys think leave a comment below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it was pretty good. So leave a like, whatever. See you when I see you. Adios.